Don't ask me the answer for that. Ask Republicans. Donald Trump openly admits uh, why we can't do these things because then they would never win again. Okay, let's hear what Joe's well, saying. Well, like in every, every vote, by the way, every vote, there's some percentage. Bro, w w how they shot this with a toaster. I just, I love whenever, I love when Joseph Robinette Rogan uh, uh, subreddit posters are just like, I'm going to rip this from Spotify. How do you get the, I always want to know, like, how do you get the audio to be this way? He has two mics on his stand and it still sounds like that. No, is this, someone captured the audio wrong when they were trying to rip this. This is what's weird about this introduction of illegal aliens. Went from believing country. in socialist time, principles to having the name for that, that belief to, to helping to organize for causes. Thanks for like both those things are so crazy while it's happening because at the same time you have to have a proof of vaccination in order to do a lot of things. So you have to have ID. So ID is racist if you want people to use ID to vote, but ID is mandatory if you want to go to restaurants, if you go to all these other places. Oh my Lord. How many times do we have to do this? How many times? These are such basic conservative talking points, okay? Shocking that Joe Rogan has gotten to the most boring part of conservatism, which is like has constantly it. lying about voter fraud happening. And why we need to protect it, why we need to protect our, our uh, you know, voter integrity or, or the integrity of our elections. Our elections are still run on paper ballots because they are currently, as it stands, the most secure way to ensure uh, elections happen. Okay. America has a lot of problems specifically around how difficult it is to vote. But election security is not one of those problems, surprisingly. Okay. As far as the integrity of the ballots goes, there are significant issues. 2000 Florida is a great example where the Republicans basically took advantage of butterfly ballots and took advantage of like uh, uh, ballots being read inappropriately. And then by way of the Supreme Court and by straight up creating the Brooks Brothers riot, shouts out to, to, to what's his face, the weird dude who likes to get his wife, uh, who, who likes to, yeah, hanging chads. Um, Roger Stone, thank you. Yeah, shouts out to Roger Stone for that. Uh, who, who and and Brett Kavanaugh and other and other people that were involved in that are now in the Supreme Court as well. That personally and physically stopped recounts from occurring in Florida, which basically gave uh, George W. Bush the election. Al Gore conceded. Yada yada. Now, other than that, other than those like famous incidents, voter fraud is not a significant occurrence. It happens in the margins, of course. A lot of times done by Republicans, by the way. But voter fraud is. You know, I hate to say this to all the conspiracists out here. Voter fraud is too difficult to pull off hijack. in the mass quantities. It's too difficult to get people to mobilize in the mass quantities necessary to actually do voter fraud, systemic voter fraud. Okay. Now, having said that, do I think that we should have a national ID process for people to be able to vote, even though voter fraud isn't really happening? Sure. I'm happy with, I'm happy to oblige, except we need to have national ID for that. Okay, that is given to every single citizen unconditionally for free without any additional uh, leaps and bounds that they need to go through. Any one of you that has been to a DMV, if you have ever been to a DMV, oh, for free, by the way, because otherwise it's basically a poll tax um, and you are creating right. unnecessary right. barriers to be able to vote. Okay, but if you've ever been to a DMV, you know that process is very difficult. Okay, if you ever try to get a driver's license, that process is incredibly difficult, okay? You gotta take time off your work. It takes off basically an entire day. People say what? Because you probably don't live in like an urban environment, all right? So you have no idea how that looks, but like the overwhelming majority of Americans still live in urban environments. They live in cities and whatnot, especially poor Americans, right? And it's very difficult to obtain a driver's license, especially if you're, uh, if you're implementing voter ID measures right before an election, especially when Going out and voting itself is already also very difficult. People will not understand this. If you live, again, in a nice little suburb and you're neat and you're on Twitch, you're not going to see that. You're like, what the f***? That doesn't make any sense. There is a specific reason why we are one of the few countries where voting is not compulsory and also is not done, more importantly, not done on a national holiday. Okay? Why do you think that is? Why can't we change uh, the, the, uh, the day to vote into a national holiday? Why can't we make voting easier? Well, 
Don't ask me the answer for that. Ask Republicans. Donald Trump openly admits uh, why we can't do these things because then they would never win again, okay? They do not want poor people to vote. They do not want working class people to vote. They only want to vote. They only want to make as, as little amount of people as possible vote. That way, it's a more even playing field for Republicans and Democrats. This isn't to say that like Democrats are truly on the side of the working class or whatever, but ultimately more working class people vote for the Democratic Party than Republicans. That's just the truth, okay? That's just statistics. Might not feel that way. You might think about like the real working class being the rural, uh, you know, West Virginia voter and they're all Republican or whatever. But like when you look at the demographics in exit polls and otherwise, more, more working class and poorer people vote for the Democratic Party than they do for the Republican Party. So that is precisely the reason why Republicans create this lie that people are not, uh, people are voting illegally, okay? That we're casting illegal votes in a country that has a laughably low voter turnout, in a country where the plurality, okay, are non voters. Out of the voter eligible population, the plurality in this country are non voters. So we need more people to vote not less. And these restrictive measures that are implemented oftentimes in places where the MVs have suspiciously, uh, you know, uh, closed down or uh, implemented immediately before an election cycle to make sure that people can't vote are no different than many different, many other ways in which Republicans try to stop you from going out and voting. During the civil rights, pre, in the pre-civil rights era, in the Jim Crow South, they had the poll tax, okay? They had the grandfather clause. They wouldn't just straight up say black people can't vote. They would say if your grandparents could not have voted, then you don't uh, get to vote unless you take this, uh, you know, literacy test or this competency test to be able to go out and vote. These sorts of things are exactly how Republicans or conservatives in general have shut out marginalized people from voting historically and in contemporary society, okay? So... Am I in favor of a free national ID that everyone gets and then, you know, implementing some of these measures? Sure. Are these measures at this current state necessary? No, they are not. Why are they not necessary? Well, because voter fraud does not happen outside of the tiny, slim margins, okay, that cannot sway the outcome of an election. There have been liberal think tanks that have studied this and conclusively shown that voter fraud is insignificant in this country. There have been Republican think tanks that have studied and looked into voter fraud and tried to find instances of voter fraud and haven't been able to figure out or, or haven't been able to show at all that voter fraud is beyond marginal. There have been bipartisan yes. think tanks that have looked into this as well. One of the most famous studies on voter fraud that Republicans routinely bring up is the American Enterprise Institute study. And that study is one of the most comprehensive studies ever conducted over the course of 30 years on voter fraud and how widespread voter fraud is in this country. That American Enterprise study famously found 12 months 1,200 instances of voter fraud. 1,200 over the course of billions of ballots cast through three decades. 1200 so even the most famous study that conservatives use actually destroy their argument now or was it the heritage foundation it wasn't the american enterprise institute i thought it was the american enterprise institute i might have gotten that I'm, I'm spitting off the top of dome right here but i mean heritage foundation american enterprise institute they're the same sorry um it was the heritage foundation so how do you 100 know your sources are true um well first of all the source I'm referencing is a Republican think tank, a very famous Republican think tank. Well, here, here's the easy answer. The easy answer to what you're saying is because I'm smarter than you. I'm an idiot, okay? I'm a dumbass, but this is what I've studied for a very long time, and this is what I've been doing for a very long time. So, unfortunately, I am smarter than you. I'm a dumbass regardless, but smarter than you, uh, even though I am a dumbass, okay? So the long answer to that is I look to the personal biases that think tanks have. So the American Enterprise Institute or the Heritage Foundation have a vested interest, okay? They have an interest in showing that there is widespread voter fraud because these think tanks in, are in operation specifically to, 
you know, create nice little padding for the Republican agenda. They are supposed to create empirical evidence for the Republican agenda so that conservatives can point to that. Conservative Republican politicians can point to that and say, look, this is real. I wasn't making this up. Mexicans are actually voting illegally. Here is the American Enterprise Institute or here is the Heritage Foundation study, right? Slam. So even when the most biased think tank that is exclusively trying to create the narrative and show empirical evidence for the narrative that voter fraud is widespread, cannot figure out enough, cannot gather enough evidence, that means it's just not real. It's not a real thing. And look no further than the Trump administration. The Trump administration ran on many illegal people voted for Hillary Clinton. That's why she got more votes than me in the popular vote, right? He said that a lot when he won and then he kept saying that even after he won the election he won because of the electoral college we won't get into that right now but when he won he said that and he launched an investigative committee okay a committee to investigate voter fraud and electoral security did you ever hear about that uh the the conclusive findings of that committee if you were paying attention you would realize that they quietly shuttered it once they found no voter fraud as wicked or rather not no voter fraud but voter fraud so marginal and oftentimes also conducted by Republicans that they quietly and embarrassingly shuttered the doors on that investigation. They've done this time and time again. George W. Bush had a committee made that was also shuttered after they found no conclusive evidence that there was substantive voter fraud happening later, or a substantial amount of voter fraud to change happening. My name, color, boom, the clap. So there you go. This is precisely why Voter fraud is widespread, and that's why we must limit who can vote in a country where the plurality does not vote is a laughable and, uh, you know, dangerous argument to make. But let's keep going. This is because you have to be vaccinated. Because it's like... But you do understand how it looks, right? Well, here's the issue, my friend. You're an idiot. So, of course, it looks bad to you. Then why don't Democrats implement these measures because when they're in power? I don't know because you probably don't recognize how the Senate works because the Democrats did try to implement measures to stop uh, Republicans from uh, uh, doing further voter suppression. It was called HR1. Just because you don't pay attention to politics and just because the Democrats are otherwise like baboons who are laughably incompetent doesn't change the reality that they did actually try to do that. They tried to push for a legislative, they tried to push for the legislative agenda of, of uh, making it easier, making voting a national holiday, making it easier for universal uh, well, mail-in yeah, ballot registration. And, 18 J's at Hussein, and they failed because every, damn near every single Republican in the Senate said no not only did they try but they also tried and conceded to Joe Manchin who was operating as a vector within the or operating as a person that was the spokesperson for the Republicans interest they even said we will implement voter ID protocols as long as you give us the other stuff make it a national holiday make it a federal holiday and the Republicans still overwhelmingly voted no and when there only is uh, a a 50-50 when there only is a 50-50 uh, uh senate uh and and you need 60 to have a veto proof majority you unfortunately can't do shit okay um i am going to ban you 14 months baby you know i am not watching that video you keep spamming it over and over again trying to bait me into watching it i do not care i'm banning you it's like it's so inconsistent what if I told you that illegal immigrants in this country, each and every one, does vote in the presidential election? What? Each so, and every one. Each and every one. Every now, illegal alien every does not one. vote. I, so every I'm, I'm, hold, stop. Well, hold every on. I'm obviously, playing, I'm obviously making a bit, right? I didn't know you were making a bit. Well, well, was, was the, nonsense. Uh, the Electoral College is based upon congressional seats. Right. Congressional seats are based upon total population, citizen or otherwise. Right. So if an illegal immigrant moves into a state, they are counted in the census and a congressional seat is apportioned to that state, which then gets an electoral vote based on the amount of people. Oh, I see what you're saying. The yeah. po so we don't do a popular vote for the president. That means if you have – I think um, California in, the, in 2016 got one additional vote based on their total illegal immigrant population, one, one extra um, electoral college vote. Really? Okay. First of all – the census should count undocumented immigrants because they live in the states, okay? The census doesn't just work to redistrict. It also works to offer resources to areas, okay? 
and it's every 10 years. Are we just going to act like these people do not live on U.S. soil? We got like more than 11 million undocumented citizens that are living on U.S. soil that are picking your avocados, okay? That are picking your grape, your, your grapes, that are working in your poultry factories. And without them, you wouldn't be able to put food on your table, dumb bitch, okay? They're also paying taxes. And according to, again, the Cato Institute, which is a far right, right wing libertarian think tank using way less of the government resources to the tune of 0.09% of all social spending goes to undocumented citizens because the only time they can exhaust government resources are when they go to the emergency room, okay? And that's it because they can't take advantage of anything else and they pay significantly more in taxes than they actually get back from the American uh, government because the social safety nets are dog shit regardless. Give me 11 more months of Joe Rogan. Those Daniel. people still deserve certain amenities, okay? Or at the very least, an allocation, a proper distribution of resources because they still are here. You might want to plug your ears and close your eyes and go, la, 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 la. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to see this, but they still live here, okay? The irony of you loving the working class but supporting illegal immigration, says AOC is literally Lenin. Yes, because undocumented Ass. citizens, whether you like to admit it to yourself or others or not, are working class. Working class does not go, uh, working class does not have any boundaries uh, in the form of state lines. Working class is working class, okay? They are absolutely working class. Now, there is a truth to this. There is a two-tiered labor, labor system. If you remember, I talked to uh, uh, Labor Notes' very own Jonah Furman about this recently. And he actually DM'd me uh, not that long ago saying, yes, you were completely correct. I think a part of the conversation about uh, labor shortages right now unironically revolves around uh, shutting off undocumented immigration, okay? There is a purposely designed, uh, the, American, uh, the American government's immigration policies are purposely designed to create a permanent underclass, okay? In the form of undocumented immigrants. It is, this is the truth. So that you can constantly have a pool of non-citizens coming in to work at incredibly low wages in desolate conditions and not be able to fight back and actually get uh, purged from the country in incredibly violent ways when they ever decide to even demand back pay like it happened in the Purdue Chicken Factory, for example. And the American government does not punish these companies that hire undocumented labor, that re rely on undocumented labor, that's b baked into their uh, you know commodity production and their margins, okay? The American government runs on undocumented immigrants that are hyper exploited that actually hurts the labor conditions overall certainly it is the truth if you have a pool of undocumented laborers that are willing to do the job for you know 10 cents on the dollar then yeah of course these capital owners are going to work with them instead of you what is the solution it's not a bad take what is the solution well the solution is to document them the solution is to allow them to also unionize alongside the documented labor force, because the pie otherwise is much larger and we're fighting for crumbs. Well, not we, I'm in a way better situation now, but the average American worker is fighting for crumbs again and, and pitting themselves against the undocumented worker that is fighting for an even smaller percentage of that when the larger pie is much greater, okay? The real way to address the the lump of labor fallacy that conservatives regularly engage in which was uh which was already disproven in the 19th century by the way okay this is a fallacy the lump of labor fallacy was disproven or it was shown to be a fallacy in like 1847 or something okay like a very long time ago and yet conservatives still engage in this rhetoric the only reason why it seems like there is a lump of labor, there's only a, a finite amount of jobs that people can get to, is because there is a constantly refreshing pool of undocumented laborers that are hyper exploited in this country. And all of our most prominent industries absolutely rely on that and bake that in to their profit margins. So the way to solve that problem is by allowing undocumented laborers to be documented and allowing them to advocate for better labor conditions alongside the rest of the documented labor force. Okay? Straw man argument, you're avoiding Occam's razor. Thanks, man. So while they don't actually Thank vote by going idea. out and voting, Thanks for everything that's not how the up. presidential election works. Their presence in the state gives congressional federal power to that state to make those votes. Interesting. So they make states 
where there's like borderline states or where there's states where they're, you know, it could swing one way or the other. And they make those more accessible to illegal aliens. Thus, they get additional seats. I, it it takes 10 years. Votes. It, uh, take yeah, famously, all of those states, of course, all those borderline states are, uh, you know, uh, liberal. But wait, that's not the truth. Uh, and that uh, a lot of border towns that have a high population of Hispanic voters are still in Texas and definitely do not vote uh, uh, liberal and do vote. Uh, only recently have they started voting uh, more blue, okay? So this idea that, like, uh, it's only the red states that are getting undocumented immigrants and it's helping them in the electoral college is an insane one, okay? But not as insane as missing the top of the hour ad break by eight minutes. Thank you for because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. Now, if you no longer want to see those ads, okay, if you no longer want to see those ads, then all you need to do is subscribe. That's right. You can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime, or you can wait for someone to gift you a, 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 a gifty boy in the chat. That isn't always a consistent one, but the most consistent way is Twitch Prime, which is free, okay, or a $5 a month subscription. You know, if you use that, you won't see those ads. Wah! Womack7, thank you for the five gifted subs. Womack7, allowing five people to no longer see the ads. And Rebonchu for the three. Mm. I'm a catling for the 10. Here's the woman ad break now. Hassan, but isn't counting the immigrants and allocating Senate seats based on that kind of similar to counting the prison population of red areas but not letting them vote? Why is it different? Wait, we should let them vote. Uh, yeah, we should let, we should let the, the, we should let prisoners vote. I'm, I'm an advocate for allowing prisoners to vote. I've been watching you for a year and a half now, and I've never been gifted the sub. Super inconsistent. Well, you know, maybe you're just not lucky, okay? GG's. GG's my friend. Takes the census, which I believe is every 10 years, right? Um, I don't know which states they're doing. I'm not saying anyone's conspiracy. There's a conspiracy to do it. But it is true that if you look at the illegal immigrant population per state, you can you can calculate how many electoral votes they'll get. Based well, on they're piling well. into Texas. Oh, yeah. They're piling and, into Texas. But where are they piling? If they pile into urban centers? Texas, uh, the, the Hispanic voter base in Texas is, because of the efforts of the, because of the efforts of the Republican Party, the, the GOP there, vote, uh, a healthy uh, percentage of that voter base votes for the Republicans. So, you know. Then what will happen is, say, Austin will have to expand and produce a couple more districts, a couple more congressional seats then Texas will get more electoral votes. It won't give them the power to turn Texas necessarily into a blue state for Texas itself, but it will give them extra electoral votes, which could- Holy shit, someone just gifted me a sub. I feel like I'm such a cry babu. Thanks, Haas community and Hassan. Welcome. You who ain't a, thank you for the five, get the subs. Make Texas a blue presidential state. See, here's the thing. Most people have no idea about this stuff. Most people are just, it's not willful ignorance. It's almost they're overwhelmed by just the sheer amount of data, the sheer amount of information that you must have to have in order to make an informed PLS. decision. Yeah, no one knows. Yeah, dude, no one, no one knows the secret. It's like being kept a secret. No, no one knows this. First of all, people do know this. People, but it's fake. It's not real. Okay. I love when people say like, "Oh, many people don't know this." Is like, no mother. Maybe you're many people. Okay, and and also, it's not even a real thing. It's a thing that you just uh, heard and think is true, but it's not the case. Yeah. And the guy that you're talking to across from you unironically said that there would be a 49 state landslide for Donald Trump. So maybe get your info from somewhere else. Hero plays coming in from the young gun. And while well, it's going to take a few more of those to silence the haters. Ape together strong. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>